Sweden has solidified its commitment to enhancing its ground-based air defense capabilities with a significant new order for the RBS-70NG short-range air defense system, announced by Saab on July 1, 2025. The contract, signed with the Swedish Defense Material Administration, is valued at approximately 1.5 billion SEK, roughly $158.4 million and includes missiles and equipment to support future integration into Saab's mobile short-range air defense platform. This acquisition underscores Sweden's strategic focus on countering evolving airborne threats, including aircraft, drones, and cruise missiles, while ensuring long-term access to advanced air defense systems. Deliveries are scheduled to begin in 2027 and continue through 2028, with some indications suggesting a potential start as early as 2026. This order builds on Sweden's existing use of the RBS-70NG, expanding its deployment and integrating components for vehicle-based operations to enhance mobility and operational flexibility. The RBS-70NG, developed by Saab Bofors Dynamics, is a man-portable air defense system designed to provide robust protection against a wide range of aerial threats. With an effective range exceeding 9 kilometers and an altitude coverage of up to 5,000 meters, the system is equipped to engage aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles, helicopters, and cruise missiles. Its laser beam riding guidance system co-developed with laser diode laboratories, is highly resistant to jamming, ensuring reliability in contested environments. The system features an automatic target tracker, a high-resolution thermal imager for integrated night vision, and a modular site module that supports video recording for post-mission analysis. Weighing 87 kilograms, including the stand, site, and missile, the RBS-70NG can be deployed in under 45 seconds and reloaded in less than 5 seconds, with the missile achieving a maximum speed of Mach 2. Its warhead, combining a shaped charge with 3,000 tungsten spheres, is triggered by an adaptive proximity fuse with three selectable modes, enhancing its versatility against diverse targets. The origins of the RBS-70 program trace back to Sweden's 1967 Air Defense Review, which identified the limitations of existing anti-aircraft systems, such as 7.5-centimeter guns, in addressing modern and emerging air threats. Development began in 1969 under a contract with Bofors AB, with subsystems contributed by Ericsson and Svenska Aktiebolaget, Trådlös Telegrafi by 1972. The system entered series production in 1975 and was introduced into Swedish service in 1977. Over the decades, it has undergone significant upgrades, including the Mark I in 1982, Mark II in 1990, and the Bullide missile in 2003, which increased the system's speed to Mach 2 and altitude reach to 6 kilometers. The RBS-70NG, launched in 2011, introduced advanced sighting, automatic tracking, and thermal imaging, supporting both man pads and remote weapon station configurations. Earlier vehicle-mounted variants, such as the Robot System 90, entered service in 1993 and were reactivated in 2017, reflecting Sweden's ongoing reliance on the system. This latest acquisition aligns with Sweden's broader efforts to strengthen its brigade-level air defense particularly in response to heightened regional security concerns, such as those driven by the Russia-Ukraine conflict. The RBS-70NG's operational flexibility is a key asset, with deployment options including tripod-mounted systems, vehicle-mounted platforms like the ASRAD-R, and naval integration. Its modular design allows rapid reconfiguration for various mission profiles, integrating seamlessly with command and control networks and radar-based queuing systems, such as Saab's Giraffe 1X radar. The system's missile, measuring 1.32 meters in length with a 106 millimeters diameter and 32 centimeters wingspan, uses a smokeless solid propellant booster and sustainer motor, ensuring minimal visual signature during launch. This adaptability has made the RBS-70 a trusted system in over 20 countries, including Argentina, Brazil, Canada, Finland, Latvia, Lithuania, Ukraine, 
and others, with notable combat use in conflicts ranging from the Iran-Iraq War to recent operations in Ukraine. The RBS-70NG has proven its combat effectiveness in multiple theaters. During the Iran-Iraq War, Iranian forces used the system against Iraqi aircraft. In 1992, Venezuelan forces employed it to down a rebel OV-10 Bronco during a coup attempt. More recently, Ukraine has leveraged the RBS-70NG, donated by Sweden with Giraffe 75 radars in early 2023, to counter Russian aerial assets. Ukrainian units, including the 47th Separate Mechanized Brigade and the 110th Mechanized Brigade, have recorded successes against Russian Su-24 and Su-25 aircraft, CAF-52 and Mi-8 helicopters, cruise missiles, and loitering munitions. Notable incidents include the downing of a K-52 near Robotyne on August 17, 2023, a Su-24 in Odessa Oblast on December 5, 2023, and multiple targets, including two Su-25s and a KA-52 on May 13, 2024. The 25th Airborne Brigade also reported downing a Mi-8 helicopter in Luhansk on October 25, 2023, and a Supercam drone was destroyed on December 24, 2023. Sweden's July 2025 order follows a January 2024 contract worth 300 million SEK, or $28.55 million, which integrated the RBS-70NG onto BVS-10 armored vehicles as part of the MSHORAD platform. This earlier order, with deliveries scheduled for 2024 to 2026, enhances the mobility and protection of Swedish combat units, enabling engagement of threats within five seconds of target acquisition. The combination of the RBS-70NG with the Giraffe 1X radar and advanced command and control systems creates a layered defense capable of addressing both current and future threats. FMV's Jonas Lotsny emphasized that the 2025 acquisition will increase the Swedish Armed Forces' long-term capacity to counter airborne threats, while Saab's Gorgon Johansson highlighted the company's role in delivering cutting-edge air defense solutions. The RBS-70NG's global adoption further underscores its reliability. Countries like Finland, which procures the Bolide missile under the ITO 2005M designation, and Brazil, which used this system during the 2016 Rio Olympics, have adapted it to diverse operational environments. Australia, while retiring the system in favor of NASAMS, included RBS-70 units in a $100 million aid package to Ukraine in 2024. Canada's deployment of the RBS-70NG to Latvian-based forces in 2024 further demonstrates its relevance in NATO-aligned operations. As Sweden continues to integrate the system into its national defense framework, the RBS-70NG remains a cornerstone of its strategy to protect ground forces from increasingly sophisticated aerial threats, ensuring operational readiness and resilience in an uncertain security landscape.